Ah, good. You've chosen to listen to the sample. You obviously have good taste. <laughs> well, of course I've got good taste. That's why they want to listen to a book about me. <laughs> I have no idea what you just said. They want to what about you? Listen to a book about me. You want a boot? Why, you have two. Somehow. I still have no idea how you keep them on, Worm, having no feet. No, man, you daft sod. What did you call me? A book about me. The Lumpton Worm Junior. Oh, about you. <laughs> Look here, Lumpton. It's not about you, it's about me. Yes, it is. Me and me fascinating life. No, it's not. It's about me, you deluded creature. <laughs> well, well, I think the title speaks for itself. Why would anyone in their right mind write a book about you? Ugh, I mean, look at you. Ugh. <gasps> you cheeky sod. Look at you. Yes, I know. I'm hotter than Daddy Bear's porridge, but that's besides the point. Oh, good. Look, witch, the book's about me. Mm-hmm. I think this short sample of the audiobook will settle this. Go ahead, maid. Play it. Oh, uh, yeah, my lady. <laughs> it was a woman wearing a dark purple shell suit. Get your fidget spinners here, only two quid each. The worm shouted, waving his tail in the air like an excited dog. The woman stopped. Oi, what are you selling there, mate? Unable to contain his excitement, the worm chuckled and muttered to himself. Oh, she has mistaken me for a mate. Maybe she thinks I'm a playmate, or even a first mate. Hmm, it must be this booth. Aye, what'd you say? The woman asked, confused. Realising that the words he just uttered weren't his inner monologue, the large creature let out a gasp. Oh, nout, nout. I was just wondering if you wanted to purchase one of these fine fidget spinners, as used by the Queen and Prince Philip and the lakes. Uh -huh. They're made in England in only two quid each. Get away, Prince Philip has one of these things, you say? Well, go on then, I'll take one. <laughs> she said, reaching into her pocket and pulling out two pound coins. Taking the money, the worm passed over a fidget spinner. Here you go, pet. Uh, uh, um, uh, I mean, me it. Here, I ain't seen you around here before. Who are you? Asked the woman, taking the plastic tie and putting it on her finger. Oh, I've already had this job a few hours. The worm said, stuffing the money into one of his Wellington boots. They call me the Lampton Worm. <laughs> That's a bloody stupid name. Offended, but trying not to show it, the worm asked. Oh, right, so what's your name then, pet? Oh, I mean, Mate, you played the wrong part. That part has the Lampton Worm Junior in it. <laughs> play the other part. Oops, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'll play the next part. <laughs> Will you stop clouting us with that broom? Oh, I've got a splitting headache. Not until you stop eating those crumpets, you horrid smelly thing. The worm's eyes softened, and his face took on a rather pathetic expression. Well, there's no need to get personal, pet. I'm just a bit hungry, that's all. I mean, I haven't eaten now since last Tuesday. Only a couple of apples I found down the street by the time, and I think them were plastic. Oh, how vile! That didn't have me in it either. You're really testing my patience, maid. Oh, uh, sorry, my lady. Um, I mustn't have set one up. Oh, forget it. I really need to conjure up some better stuff. 